If it's granular and they go, oh, well, it's granular, but it's chelated. I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I have done, I don't know how many studies with iron. I, I want to say it's like 14 or 15 studies. I can't remember. And not once did we ever see a granular or turf grass response to granular iron applications. Whether it was chelated or not, didn't make a difference. Whether it was applied at 0, 5, 10, 20 pounds an acre of iron or not, didn't matter as a granular. It's irrelevant. You have to understand that the, the uh, rate of oxidation of iron in, in arable soils is minutes, not hours or days or weeks, minutes. Okay. Even if it's, if it's chelated and you have a very, very high pH, then there might be an outside chance that potentially you could see something if you have a pH of like eight or something. It's you know possible, but still it's unlikely because you got to get that rate so high that you're like, well, I can apply 20 pounds per acre or 50 pounds per acre of EDDHA and wash it in the soil and might see a response. Or I can apply one or two pounds per acre and spray it on the leaf and just let it sit there. And I definitely would see a response then. Which one are you going to choose? <laughs> 